Um, I saw them put in Pascal and Kaminga in a trade. And I thought about it and I was like, that's a win for both sides. It's been well reported that the Raptors are shopping former All-Star and NBA champion Pascal Siaka. And with Warriors forward Jonathan Kaminga coming out last week stating he did not enjoy playing under Steve Kerr, Clippers All-Star forward Paul George is suggesting a trade that would be a win-win for both sides. Could this trade be a match made in heaven for both teams and both players? What up, family? Welcome back to the channel. You already know it's your boy, Moose, and we finna talk some hoops. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit the like button you already know. There's a lot of things in this world that cost, but hitting the like button ain't one of them. The Golden State Warriors are down bad right now, and they could use all the help they can get. Steph Curry's been left alone to carry the load all by himself. Klay Thompson's legs are cooked. Chris Paul just had hand surgery and ain't no telling when he'll return. And Draymond Green is just now returning from suspension. A Pascal Siakam trade can really save this season for the Warriors. Siakam brings a dynamic that the Warriors just don't have right now. He can dribble, pass, and shoot create for himself, facilitate, and knock down the three ball. Because Pascal, like, he can be a one option, but that's not where he's the best at. Right. I think him being the second, third option is where he can really shine. And Paul George is absolutely right. With Siakam playing alongside Steph Curry, the floor will be more open for Siakam to operate. And he won't have to deal with the pressures of being a number one option. As for Jonathan Kaminga. So then Kaminga coming into his own. Toronto's kind of in this rebuild, but ready to get better and win now mode right now. They just traded for RJ uh, quickly. Those are young guards. They have Scotty Barnes there team. now. Um, and then you add another young guy like Kaminga. That could be a fun team. Could that be the direction that the Raptors go? I think so. I see Jonathan Kaminga fitting in with this Raptors team quite seamlessly. He fits the timeline of Scotty Barnes, who's 22, R.J. Barrett, who's 23, and Emmanuel Quickly, who's 24. And Kaminga brings a skill set that none of the other three possess. All four would have different games that complement each other. But these deck of cards all lay in the hands of Pascal Siaka, who's a free agent at the end of this season, and any team he's traded to would want to have his John Hancock pause on a dotted line when the season's over with. But if you're looking at this trade for face value, then there's no way you can't say this is a win-win for both sides. With the rumors heating up, and the Raptors in a position to try to get back anything they can for Pascal before he walks out that door for free. This could very well be a trade we see in the next few weeks. But I'm going to put the ball in y'all's court. Jump in the comments and let me know. Is a Pascal Siakam for Jonathan Kaminga trade a win-win for both sides? Jump in the comments and let me know. Once again, you already know it's your boy Moose Talks Hoops. Like I always say, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit the like button you already know. It's a lot of things in this world that cost, but hitting the like button ain't one of them.